Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Silvia. Today, I would like to share with you a Pilates mat work sequence, especially designed to work on your abs, your glutes, and your legs. So we'll be switching positions uh, in order to work the uh, lower part of the body. Um, you just need your mat and uh, make sure you uh, are in a quiet place. So make sure that you uh, devote this time to yourself to listen to your body and to feel the energy flow. So whenever you're ready, let's get started. Let's start by lying on the mat in a supine position with your legs bent. So make sure that you are central in, on your mat. Feel that your um, arms and, and hands are gently pressing on your mat and feel the length in your neck and shoulders. Open your collarbones, find your neutral spine. So feel your sacrum gently pressing on the mat. From here, we'll start by rolling our spine. Inhale here and exhale, imprint your lower back and engage your glutes and press on your feet. So press up, inhale at the top and exhale, roll all the way down vertebrae by vertebrae and find your neutral spine again. Inhale and exhale, engage your abdominals and glutes and press your feet down. Inhale at the top and exhale, roll down. Your neck stays long and inhale and exhale abdominals and glutes, feel the back of your thighs. Now stay here and open your legs. So think about opening your knees and close and two and close. Exhale three and four and five. So make sure that your glutes still press up and let's do two more. Open and close open and close. Stay here, inhale at the top and exhale, roll your spine down one more time and find your neutral. Let's repeat this sequence. Inhale and exhale, roll all the way up, so, soles of your feet pressing on the floor. Inhale and exhale, open and close and open. So you're externally rotating your femurs and then you're coming back to a parallel position. So you're coming back to center and four and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Inhale, parallel, and exhale, roll all the way down. And let's do this sequence one more time. Inhale, and exhale, press up vertebrae by vertebrae. Stay at the top, inhale, and exhale, open and close. And two, and three, and four, and five, and six, seven, and last one, eight. Come back to a parallel position. Inhale, stay further up. Inhale and exhale. Roll all the way down. So now we'll start by going up and down without rolling, without the articulation of the spine. Inhale and exhale, press up one. And come back to a neutral position. You can um, lower your sacrum completely or you can hover over the floor. So you're not really coming back to a neutral um, placing your uh, sacrum back on the mat, but you're, you're keeping it up a few inches. And let's do four more. Up and down and up and down. Last two. On the next one, stay up, inhale and exhale, uh, heels up and down, two and three. So keep pressing up with your glutes and five and six and seven and eight. Let's do two more here, up and up. Now keep your heels up, inhale and lower down and press up, one and back, two. Again here, you can hover over the floor so you're not really placing your sacrum down, but you're keeping your glutes and abdominals engaged. And four, let's do six more. Five and six and seven and eight. Let's do two more. Nine and ten. So now roll 
Uh, place your sacrum down, your heels down, and hug your knees into your chest. Well done. So make sure that you find some length in your lower back here. And place your feet back on the floor. So now bring your, um, your hands behind your head. So make sure that your elbows are in a, in a V position and bring your legs to a tabletop position. So press your legs together, inhale and exhale, press up into a chest flexion, thoracic flexion, and exhale on your way up. Inhale and exhale, three and four and five. And make sure you're not closing your elbows on your way up. Let's do four more. And let's do three and two and one. Now from here, extend your arms to the sky and place your right leg back on the mat. So your legs, your left leg is, um, is, is in a tabletop position. So press up and down. And as you come to a thoracic flexion, extend your left leg forward. And if you can really feel that your fingertips are reaching towards the wall in front of you and come back. So press up with your glute and leg, inhale and exhale up and down and press up, down and up and down and press up, down and up, let's do two more sequences and press your glute up and lower and extend, bend and let's do one more repetition. Inhale, exhale. Now stay here and grab your left knee. So bring your right leg tabletop, inhale and exhale, extend that leg one and back and two. So your chest is nice and stable. You are in a stable position in this thoracic flexion and breathe out as you extend your right leg. Let's do four more. Let's do three and two and one. Now bring your arms behind your head. Inhale, rotate towards your left knee and switch. Obliques, one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight nine ten and come back to a tabletop position bring your arms down and this time bring your left foot on the floor so bring your arms up to the sky inhale and exhale press up and down and thoracic flexion up and down and press up and down and up gaze towards your leg and come back to a central position up and down and flex forward and down let's do three more up down and up and down let's do two more up down up and down and let's do last one up down up so now stay here bend your knee and grab your knee so bring your left leg to a tabletop position inhale and exhale extend one and bend two and bend extend three and four so keep your torso nice and stable, five and six and seven and eight and nine. Let's do one more and extend. So stay here, your arms behind your head, twist, inhale and exhale. Let's repeat obliques, one for so two, three, Four, breathe naturally here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Let's bring your legs to a tabletop position and then bring your knees into your chest and rock from side to side. You could cross one ankle over the other and give yourself a nice massage on the lower back. So release any tension you might feel in that area. And now from here, let's transition from a seated position and let's lie on our left side. So here, find a comfortable position with your, for your neck and shoulders. Make sure that you're really pressing your shoulders away from your ears um, and extend the top leg. So the bottom leg is bent and the top leg is like in line with your shoulder. So really point that foot and lower down and up. So we'll do some pulses. So you're pulsing to uh, the sky. And make sure that your leg is in a parallel position, that you feel the um, external part of your glute and leg work. And up and up. So engage your abdominals. Up. Feel free of tension in the neck and shoulder area. Let's do four, three, two, one. Now flex that right foot and let's bring it on again. So up and up. So it's a controlled pulse to the sky up. So really feel that heel pressing away from your hips and up. Start feeling the burn in the uh, external part of your glute. And let's do five, four, three, two, one, and release. So now come onto your elbow and uh, switch legs. So your top leg is place, place your feet, your foot on the mat and extend that left leg. Inhale here, arm up and exhale up and down, up and down. So we're actually working that inner uh, left thigh and up and you might feel your abdominals are uh, working again and up and down up and down let's do five and four and three and two and one so now right um, hand behind your head inhale and exhale twist your torso as you bend your knee so you want to bring your elbow uh, to the middle of your calf actually and inhale back and bend extend so keep working that inner thigh and bend extend and switch and twist and back let's do four more and three and two and one so now place both knees on the mat and here let's focus on the rotation of your top leg so Bring it up a little bit and rotate internally and externally. So focus on um, the movement happening from your femur, from the inside your hips. And so you're pointing your foot, you're really directing uh, your knee to the floor and to the sky. So in opposite directions, exploring um, the whole range of motion you have. So this, is, this range of motion can, might be different from uh, person to person, so don't worry. Uh, find your range of motion and see if you can improve it during this sequence. And up and down. Let's do three more. And down and two more. And down. Let's do one more and bring it back. Bring your legs together. So now you can place your right hand um, behind your head or you can place it on your, uh, on your hip. So as you come up, let's clamp. Let's do clamp with your legs. Inhale and exhale two. So you feel the glutes engaging, but you feel the uh, left oblique really helping you press up your torso. So up and down let's do four more and up so really open that leg in external rotation like we did before and let's do two more up and down and up 
and down. Now sit up in this mermaid position just for a second. Extend your left arm up and find a nice stretch in your left oblique. So just a few seconds here and then release. And let's do everything on the other side. So lie a little further down on the first sequence to make sure that your neck is nice and long and, and uh, release. So extend your left leg and point your foot. So make sure that your hips are vertical and press up. So it's a, it's a controlled pulse. So it's not really a very quick, very fast. It's very controlled and you feel, really feel that you're engaging that external part of your glute, of your leg. And breathe, breathe naturally. Keep the breathing flow. And let's do five, four, three, two, one. Now flex your foot and let's keep going with this pulse up and down, up, up. So make sure that you're pressing that heel away from your uh, torso, away from your head. So now in an opposite direction. Up and five, four, three, two, one, and bend your knees. So now let's come up onto your elbows, your right elbow. So make sure that your, the sole of your left foot is on the floor and you're really uh, twisting toward that right leg. Inhale, bring it up and exhale, up and down. So keep your legs straight and feel that your, your touch with your hand, your, your ankle and up. So feel that right um, adductor working. Up and down, let's do four and three and two and one. So now place your hand behind your head, inhale and exhale, bend your knee and really twist your torso in that direction. Inhale, come back to central position and exhale two and stretch, bend and stretch and bend and stretch. So find support in your right arm, bend and stretch. Let's do five and stretch, four, and three, and two, and one, and release. So now place your knees together. So lift your left leg up, keeping it bent, and explore that range of motion here again. So internal rotation and external rotation. So make sure the rotation happens in the femur and not in your hips. So your hips are stable and you're just really uh, moving the femur inside your hip. So really press your hands on the mat. Make sure that your shoulders are away from your ears. And let's do four and external rotation and three and back and two and we'll do one more and place your legs together place your hand behind your head or on your hip inhale and let's clam on the way up up and down let's do two and down press up three and down and four and down and up and down let's do three more up and down let's do two more and place it back and with control up and release back down well done so now let's go into a quarter position but let's modify this position. So uh, place your elbows on the mat. So make sure that you're really pressing your shoulders away. You're finding that support in your abdominals. So uh, lift your right knee, inhale and exhale. Press it up and down and up. So make sure that your knee is bent at a 90 degree angle. So you keep that degree and you move from your hip. So up, think about your knee going up and towards your mat. And let's do four more 
and three. And let's do two more up. On the next one, stay up, flex your foot and really press up into a pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And let's do 10 more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Extend your leg and bring it all the way back. So make sure you check in with your position, shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, lift your left leg. Inhale here and exhale, bring it up. Inhale down and exhale two and down. And keep going three. Inhale down, shoulders away from your ears. Breathe freely and up and down. Let's do four more. Up and down and three and down let's do two more on the next one stay up flex your foot and pulse up to the sky one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and let's do it again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and now extend your leg bring it back and let's go into some shell stretch now here so really press onto your heels extend your arms forward you can bring your hands on your forehead or you can release your arms by your sides really choose that position that's more comfortable for you and take a few breaths here and then if it's possible roll up towards your heels vertebrae by vertebrae and as you come up roll your shoulders back for a few times just to find some release in your shoulders nice job so now let's go into some stretching so our legs and glutes really deserve some stretching before uh, saying goodbye so lie down uh, as we did um, earlier at the beginning of the class and let's do some figure four to stretch your glutes. So uh, right ankle on top of your left knee. So bring your knees into your chest. If it's possible, cross, interlace your fingertips um, uh, behind your left thigh. Inhale and exhale, pull your legs in. So think about staying here and breathing in this um, dynamic stretch. So you're really, uh, keeping so keep pulling keep pulling uh, so as you pull you might feel the stretch in your uh, right glute so uh, and it's possible to pull a little bit further each second so let's hold this position for four three two one and release and let's switch position so left ankle on your right knee bring your knees into your chest inhale and exhale so start pulling and start breathing normally start with your natural breath and really feel that you're pulling constantly you might feel your right leg and left leg are different don't worry so please accept that they might be different the glutes might be different from one another. So really find your limit and stay for a few seconds more for four, three, two, one, and release. So now extend your right leg up, flex your foot, and grab your thigh as you, your thigh, your knee, or the back of your calf. Inhale and exhale again here so breathe normally as you keep pulling this leg into your chest so it might not be possible to uh, to keep it completely straight you can bend it as long as you feel some stretch in the back of your thigh or the back of your knee and really find that length in your heel so press the heel away from your body and let's keep it here for four three two one and release and let's switch legs so press your heel up to the sky and find your position inhale and exhale so as you press as you pull your knee into your chest find that length in the back of your leg really find that you're not 
placing, you're not t placing any tension in the neck and shoulder area, but you're really focusing on um, bringing your knee into your chest with your arms. And let's keep it for four, three, two, one, and release. So now use one knee to bring it up to a seated position and uh, find a comfortable seated position, which might be a cross-legged position, or you can grab a chair, or if you can, you can place a cushion under your hips to, if you feel discomfort in your hips and uh, legs and knees. Uh, so find your sitting bones. So feel that your spine is nice and long to the sky and feel that you're elongating from the crown of your head. Inhale your right arm up and exhale. Let's go into some nice, beautiful lateral flexion and feel that your hips are stable. Inhale up and exhale, bring it down. Inhale up and exhale. Let's go back to the other side. It's really stretch that left side, inhale up and exhale, release. And let's do it one more time and really find length in your right arm. So you're not collapsing, you're keeping that uh, energy in your arm and release. Inhale, left arm up and exhale. Uh, it's really stretch, really reach away from your head and bring it up and all the way down. So let's roll our shoulders back a few times to find that opening in your collarbones, uh, in your chest. So inhale, up, bring your both arms up. If you want to, you can look at the sky and exhale, release down. Let's do two more times. Inhale, up, reach and exhale down. And one more time, inhale, up. So press your palms together and bring your hands in front of your chest and we're done. Very well done. Thank you so much for being here with me. I hope you liked this video. Let me know what you think in the comments and subscribe if you haven't already to the channel to see more videos like this. Thank you so much again and I hope to see you very soon.